Hey guys, so I am starting out with the e.l.f. pore minimizing or pore filling primer and I'm just applying that with my fingers all over my face and then I'm going in with the MAC Hyper Real Foundation in the shade Rose Gold FX and I'm using a Nude by Nature BB brush just to apply this all over my skin. Then for foundation, I went in with two different shades of the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I took the shades Barcelona and Punjab and basically mixed those together and used a damp beauty blender or beauty sponge I should say. This isn't a beauty blender. And I just blended that all over my face. Then to cream contour, I'm going in with this Model Co contouring stick and I'm just applying that to my cheekbones and around my hairline and my temples a little bit under my bottom lip and a little bit under my jawbone and then I'm going in with a quartz beauty face sculpting brush which is probably my favorite brush to blend out cream contour and just blending that into the skin and then I just went back in with my sponge to make sure any edges were nice and seamless and that yeah, everything meshed well together. Then for concealer, I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape in light sand under my eyes, and then I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC25 over the center of my face. And again, I'm just going in with my damp beauty sponge and blending that all out. To set my face products down, I'm using the Face of Australia Loose Translucent Setting Powder. So I'm setting my eyelids, my under eyes, and then I'm just taking that basically throughout the center of my face. I'm mainly only setting where I concealed. Then for my bronzer, I'm using a face powder from MAC. This is the Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deepest, and I'm using a Models Prefer Bronzer Brush to blend that over the areas where I've already put my cream contour. Then for blush, I'm going in with NARS Deep Throat Blush on a Quartz Beauty Angled Blush Brush. This is one of my all-time favorite blushes ever. And then for my highlight, I'm using the MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Oh Darling. Yes, oh darling, took me a second. And I'm using the Quartz Beauty Shimmer Veil Brush and I'm just applying that to all of the high points of my face. Moving on to the eyes, as you can see, I held up my palette and one of my colors fell out, but I'm going in with the Morphe 25B palette and I'm first taking a soft brownish kind of shade and I'm just buffing this all the way through the crease and underneath the lower lash line. Then I'm taking a little bit of a deeper, light, toasty brown shade and I'm just doing the same thing, blending all of that in with a Quartz Beauty Soft Crease Brush, which is like one of the softest brushes I have ever placed on my eyeballs. Then we're going into this more mockery shade. Oh, it's so hard to explain all of these different browns, but you guys get it. And I'm just building this up a little bit more in the outer corner and then bringing it, of course, in through the crease and underneath the lower lash line. Then I'm taking this red brickish kind of brown and I'm using a Sigma E25 for this just because it's a bit more dense and I can pack on the color in the outer corner and then blend it in through the crease and down along the lower lash line. So I did spend quite a bit of time really packing the shades on and then I did go in with a darker color but I kind of forgot to show you guys but you get the gist. Then I just went back in with the Quartz Beauty Soft Crease Brush just to blend out the edges. And then I'm going into this Tarte palette, it's the Make Believe In Yourself palette. I have no idea if they still make it, I should have checked before using it but I'm using this taupey shade which there's a very similar one in the Morphe palette. I just felt like using this Tarte palette. And then I'm going back in with my E25 and blending where the shimmery shade meets the outer corner 
and then back in with the soft crease brush. Then I mix together that red brick shade and the darkest shade in the palette which is that chocolatey brown and I just packed some more of that onto the outer corner and under the lower lash line just to intensify the outer corner area. And then I just went back in and blended and blended. Then to highlight my inner corners I took the same highlight I used on my face and I just packed that on in there. Then I'm taking a Models Prefer Gel Eyeliner Pencil in black and I am tight lining and having a quick little kombucha break right here. And then I lined the top of my lash line just kind of messily um, just to create a little bit more definition. And then I went in with the Models Prefer Gel Liner Pencil in navy and I popped this into my waterline just for something a little bit different. And then for mascara, I use the Tarte Gifted Mascara, which is still one of my all-time faves. And for false lashes, I use the Ardell Faux Mink Demi Wispies, I believe. Or they're just Faux Mink Wispies. So I just plonked those onto my eyes. Then to finish off the look, I went in with the Rimmel Lip Pencil in the shade Natural and I lined my whole lip line. And then to fill them in, I used the Tarte Color Splash Lipstick in the shade 5 O'Clock, which is this beautiful reddish brownie lip color and it is so stunning. And that is the entire look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video.